In question number 119, we have to see which of the following form non-albuminous seed. Non-albuminous means non-endospermic seed. Now, non-endospermic seeds, they are produced in dicot, right? So, in the dicots, the developing embryo, it utilizes all the endosperm, the nutrition which is present in the endosperm, so that in the mature seed, the endosperm is absent. So, such type of the seeds in which the endosperm is absent at the maturity, they are known as non-albuminous or non-endospermic seeds seen in dicots. Now, maize, first option, this represent monocot. Castor is a dicot, but it's an exception. It is a dicot which possess endosperm in the seed. Wheat, again it is a monocot. P is a dicot, right? So, P is a dicot in which the seed does not possess endosperm at the maturity. So, this is the right answer. So, now let's see question number 120. In question number 120, we have to look for an option in which there is presence of coiled RNA and there is presence of capsomeres. Now, all the viruses which are given here, all of them, they have RNA as genetic material. But the coiled RNA, it is only present in tobacco mosaic virus, that is TMV. So, this represents right option for question number 120. So, let's see now 121 here. So, question number 121, we have to look for an option which is incorrect. So, first option if we see that transcription, transcription involves writing information from DNA to transfer RNA. That is right, it involves RNA synthesis. Translation, we know that it is involved in formation of protein. So, this is also correct, fine. Now, repressor protein. So, this is related to opron. To understand this, let us make a lacopron here. In lacopron, this gene which I am representing here, that is promoter, this one is inhibitor, I gene is inhibitor or regulator gene, then this is promoter, operator, then these are three structural genes, Z, Y, A, right? So, promoter, inhibitor, operator and these are three structural genes, these are components of operon. Now, this I gene results in the formation of a protein which you call it as repressor. Fine. Promoter, it is the site for attachment of RNA polymerase. Fine. Now, RNA polymerase, it attaches to the promoter. Then this RNA polymerase it can move further on this ZYA gene, perform their transcription. Then after the transcription, there is formation of RNA. This RNA, it will undergo translation. And after translation, there is formation of proteins. And the proteins which are formed here, they are enzymatic proteins. So, these three genes, they result in the formation of three enzymes. Fine. Now, this repressor protein, it has the ability to join with the operator. Yes, let us say this is a pressor protein. So, it can join with the operator. If it joins with the operator, then RNA polymerase now cannot move further. 
if it cannot move further the synthesis of enzymes that is inhibited right yes repressor we can see here if it binds to operator then it stops enzyme synthesis so this is again right option now the last one is operon operon consists of structural gene operator promoter and the one which is missing here that is regulator gene regulator gene is missing so we can say this is incorrect option for this question number 121 let's see now 122 here 